join me for these ice giant escapades. I don't know if you know this, Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is an official science alert. But don't be too alerted. Here's the news. Astronomers have discovered a sizable object lurking at the edge of our solar system. Wait, where have I heard this story before? And why's it got to be lurking, man? You know, it's a peeping Tom. It can see us, but we can't see it. Are you mad that I stole that? Astronomers have found a planetary body lurking at the edge of our solar system, and they named it Double D. Wait, is it a binary? Oh, D, D. Like Daredevil. But it stands for Distant Dwarf. It was first discovered in late 2016, but little was known about its physical stature and structure. Now, new data from the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array has revealed details about the mysterious object's true identity. And it's even bigger than scientists expected. That, that's what she said. Oh. But you see, according to new data, DD, Daredevil, is about two thirds of the size of the dwarf planet Ceres. The largest member of our asteroid belt, and it has enough mass to be spherical. Sweet. And they're like, hey, there's there's water in that. Ceres like a giant rock balloon filled with water. I'm like, oh yeah, it's just like the moon. <sighs> this means DD fulfills the criteria necessary to be termed a dwarf planet, although astronomers have yet to give it that official label. I mean, distant dwarf sounds like classification, not a name. DD sits on the edge of our solar system, approximately 92 astronomical units from the sun, and is roughly 8.6 billion miles in space lingo. It's so far out there that it takes 13 hours and 52 blunts for the light from DD to reach Earth, making it the second most distant known trans-Neptunian object with an orbit second only to dwarf planet Eris. In fact, DD's orbit is so large that it takes 1,100 years to complete just one lap of the sun. So that means you'd be like 100,000 years old when you're 100. Is my math right? Might be off by one or two. In fact, DD's orbit is so large, its discovery suggests we have a lot to learn about objects that, that lurk at the very depths of our solar system. That's a surprise. I thought once we got the Hubble, we learned everything about our solar system. That's why we don't ever go anywhere or do anything cool. So we already knew it all. We know it all. Far beyond Pluto is a region surprisingly rich with planetary bodies. You mean like a classic coastal spring break? To the scientist, David Gurdes from the University of Michigan. Some are quite small, that's what she said, but others have sizes to rival Pluto, king of the underworld, and could possibly be much larger. Just because these objects are very far away doesn't mean that they are not important to my paycheck, to my paycheck. Planetary objects such as Didi are remnants from the creation of our planetary system. It's hoped that by getting more insight into how and when they were made might help us solve one of the longest standing mysteries in planetary science. How the planets in our solar system, including Earth, originally formed. It appears to me there is no amount of money or resources science isn't willing to spend to figure out, well, gosh dang it, how did everything start? Well, technically, they say she's cute. She's real cute. It was a big old bang. But then if it's a big old bang, that means you guys already know how everything formed. So. Why you guys keep pumping, humping, and dumping money and figuring out what you already know? DD was first spotted using a Blanco telescope at the Sorello Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile. The discovery was part of a dark energy survey that turned out nearly 15,000 images and identified more than 1 billion objects, most of which have turned out to be stars and distant galaxies. Only a tiny fraction of these objects turn out to be anything of interest within our solar system but they might be totally fascinating to others. Nevertheless, last year, astronomers identified what appeared to be a TNO lurking on 12 of the 15,000 images, and they informally named it DD. Doomsday. Doomsday. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, that's 40s. Diggory do. Don't be dangerous. Okay. But without the follow-up observations from Alma, who can be a total dick at times, a set of radio antennas that can recreate clear images of distant space with pixels and Kool-Aid, they couldn't tell if Didi was small, but it was highly reflective or large, but extremely dark. Alma picked it up very easily. Alma picked it up fairly easily, said Gerdes. We calculated that this object would be incredibly cold, only about 30 degrees Kelvin, just a little bit above absolute zero. They calculated that, and they calculated it with their calculators. Using Didi's heat signature, the astronomers were able to confirm that Didi was uncommonly large. That's what she said. 
didactic dick, daring dick. Using Didi's heat signature, the astronomers were able to confirm that Didi was uncommonly large, but so dark that hardly any of the other TNOs would date it, and it only reflected about 13% of the sunlight that reached it. And I know this because even though it was 92 astronomical units away, they used a, a super special science harpoon gun to jab that son of a bitch right in the nuts, and he told them everything they wanted to know. In other words, Dee Dee was about as bright as a candle placed halfway to the moon. You're turning me on. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, how about a flashlight? Was it by a flashlight between now and then? I don't even get that. Why, why am I? It's like bad, anal bad analogy day. It's like when Gary Coleman took a poop in an aquarium. The discovery of Dee Dee confirms that modern technology is finally capable of detecting extremely distant and slowly moving objects on the edges of our solar system. Or it finally proves that they're going to tell us about it eventually. Perhaps now, these same technologies could even be used to find the hypothesized Planet 9 that's predicted to orbit far beyond DD and Eris. Wherever the discovery leads us. Wherever. No time limits. Just wherever. Wherever we're going with this thing. Finding DD. Finding DD has given us a glimpse into the mysterious unknown. And yeah, why don't, why don't they just point the Hubble at it? The Hubble knows everything. Hubble telescope. Point the Hubble telescope at it. It knows everything. All right. This planet. Welcome to this planet X story. It's kind of boring. Doesn't have a whole lot of info in it. And def, no pictures. So, enter at your own risk. Peace out. God bless everyone. Um, Step up your game. Okay, thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, this Planet X story is crazier than I am.